Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a crypt arithmetic puzzle involving multiplication. It says that you need to multiply two four digit numbers and in the given problem each of the letters represents distinct digits. The below figure shows the numbers being multiplied with the partial products missing. So what are partial products? Like the first row is the partial product of the number log into k. So if you multiply log by k, you will get this as the product. Similarly, if you multiply it by c, you will get this as the product. So this is into k, into c, into o and into l. And finally, you add all those partial products to get the final product. Okay. It is given that the leftmost digit of a partial product is non-zero. So these are non-zero digits. And finally, the final line shows the last four digits of the final product. So interestingly, the last four digits of the product is also the four digits that are being multiplied. Okay, so we'll have to solve this problem and find out that what are these missing digits and answer the questions. Okay, now if you look at this problem, first of all, the last digit is k and k multiplied by k. See, these digits are going to be zeros, these three and these two and one all are zero. So k into k should give k. Now let us look at the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 0 into 0 is 1, 1 into 1 is uh, 1, 2 into 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64 and 81. So k into k should give k. So we can eliminate some of the uh, digits straight away. We are left with just four options 0, 1, 5, or 6. Now, if you take this as 0, suppose we take k as 0, so this number will be 0 because k multiplied by any number would be 0, and hence this does not satisfy the, this condition, so it is not 0. If you take k as 1, if you take k as 1, what will happen? Then this number will be LOCK because we are multiplying by 1, that is LOCK. Now, this is not 0. So that means 1 is also not possible. Right. So we are left with 5 and 6. Let us start with 5. So k into k. So if we take k as 5, k into k is 25. Right. And the last digit is 5. We get a carry of 2 here. Now 5 by any digit, 5 into any digit is either 0 or it is 5. For even digits, it is 0. For odd digits, it is 5. Right? So now, notice this thing that this product, this was k into k, 5. Now, k into c plus 2. So this is basically k into c and plus 2 to that. And if you look at this digit, this is multiplication by c. So this is c into k. Okay. Now, k is 5. One of the digits is like if you take 5c, 5c. So what it is? It is 10c. Okay. 10c plus 2. So 10c will end in 0. Okay. 10c will end in 0. Because this is 5c and 5c. So 10c. 10c is 0. So 0 plus 2 gives us that c should be 2. Now let us proceed with c equal to 2. Let us uh, do these multiplications further. 25 into 5 is 125. Okay. And 25 into 2 is 50. Now we'll come to O. This is K O. So 5 O. And again 5 O. That is 10 O. These two will be 10 O. 10 O plus 6 gives us the last digit as O. That is O should be 6. Now let us take O as 6. Right. Now O is 6. So uh, 5 into 6 is... Uh, like this is 3125, 3125, so plus 3 carries over here, and this is 1250, 1 will get carried over here, 6 into, 625 into 5 will be 3750, okay, now it is uh, 5L, because K is 5, see, understand this, this is K into L, and this is L into K, so 5L and 5L, so 10L, that will end in 0. 0 plus 3 plus 2 plus 5, that gives us 0. 
But is L equal to zero possible? See, we are multiplying four-digit numbers. Usually, this is a non-zero digit. And also, if you take multiplication by L, this will give all zeros. Hence, L equal to zero is not possible. Now, this gives us that k cannot be six. So k cannot be five. So k has to be six. So now we will repeat the process for k equal to six, and step by step we shall find out the values. So k equal to six. This means six into six gives us thirty six. So three carries over here. Now again, as we did in the previous example also, c into k that is six c. This is six c. So this is six c. This is six c. So basically, this digit is twelve c plus three. Twelve c plus three. Okay, so let us find out. Twelve C plus three should give us the last digit as C. Okay, so if you take one, one will give us twelve plus three fifteen. Okay, two will give us twenty four plus three twenty seven. Three will give us thirty six plus three thirty nine. Four will give us fifty one. Five will give us sixty three. Six will give us seventy five. Seven will give us eighty seven. Okay, eight gives us ninety nine, and nine gives us hundred and eleven. Okay, so only seven gives us the desired result. Okay, so this is C is equal to seven. Okay, so we can answer these two questions till now, six and seven. So now we will multiply by six. Seventy-six uh, into six is six into six thirty-six. Three carries forty-five. So four will get carried over here. Similarly, if you multiply by seven, this will be five hundred and thirty-two. So five carries over this time. Okay. Now coming to O, so we will get the same thing. It is six times of O, and this is six times of O. So we will have to do twelve O plus nine. Okay. So we will have to twelve O plus nine should give the last digit as O. So let us start with one. Uh, so if we take one, this uh, one will give us twelve. O will be twelve. Twelve, sorry, twelve O plus seven is the sum, not nine. Twelve O plus seven, four, three, and twelve O. So twelve O plus seven. So if you take one, you will get nine as the last digit. If you take two, twenty four uh, plus seven, thirty one. If you take three, you will get three as the last digit. So this gives us O is equal to three. Okay, so if we take O equal to three, let us proceed with this. Six uh, into three, eighteen plus four was the carry, so this becomes twenty-two. Okay. Then seven into uh, seven uh, into seven was forty-nine plus. Uh, so seven into six is forty-two. Then we have four. Forty-nine five carry fifty-three five carries seven into three twenty uh, one plus five twenty-six. So six will represent here, and two will get carried over here. And O into this is eight. Okay, and we can further uh, add multiply also uh, three into eighteen, then twenty-one twenty-two two carries eleven. So these are the. Products, right? Now comes to L. So we have this thing as twelve L because this L into six will give us six uh, L as the last digit here. Similarly, we will get six L. So we'll repeat the same thing. We will have twelve L plus what we need to add. We need to add two. We need to x six uh, plus two and notice that. When we are adding these, like when we multiply add five and two, we get seven. Okay, two plus three plus eight gives us thirteen. So there is one carry from this end also. From there, it is one is being carried here. So it is not just L twelve L plus six plus two, right? We need to add all these six L two, six six L two, and one. So it is essentially twelve L. Plus 
Apart from that, it will have 10 and 11. So 12 is L plus 11. Or you can say 12 L plus 1 also would do because we are just concerned about the last digit. So last digit should be L. Okay. So now we will have to think of like 12 multiplied by what digit plus 1 gives the last digit as the same digit. Right. So if you start with 1, uh, if you take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so this gives us uh, 3. 12 L plus 11 is 23. Keep adding 12, 35, 47, then 9, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So if you take 9, like 12 into 12 into 9 is 108 plus 11 is 119. So last digit is giving us 9 only. So L will be 9. So let us put L equal to 9 and check the product. And it should give 9376. So L is 9. Right. Now uh, 6 into uh, 3, we had done 2, 2, 2, 5, 6, 2 carries 54 plus 2, 56. Okay, so this is the first partial product. This we had done till uh, 3, uh, 7 into 3, we said. Uh, so 7 into 7 was 532 then we did 7 into 3 26 2 was carried 7 into 9 is 63 plus 2 5 will be 65 okay. 3 we did uh, till the 3 digits so we said uh, this is plus 1 9 into 3 27 plus 1 is 28 and we will multiply by 9 9 into 6 54 and 5 carries 63, 68, 6 carries 27 plus 6 is 33, 3 carries 81, 84. Okay, so this is what you will get as the product. Now let us add these and see that if we get the same. So 6, 7, this is 3, 1 carries uh, 12, 12 plus uh, 6 is 18, 19. So we are getting 9, 3, 7, 6. So this is satisfied. Now we will add the remaining digits also. Uh, this is 19, 1 carries here. So 10, uh, 10, 12, 20, 2 carries. So we have uh, 14 plus 5, 19, 1 carries over here. So we have 7 and 8. So we will get this as the final product. So you can check using a calculator that what is 9376 into 9376 and uh, just tally the answers. So first two questions we had done which letter denotes the largest digit. So L denotes the largest digit which is 9. How many distinct digits are used in the partial product of the first row? So this is the partial product of first row. So we have 5, 6, 2, 5, 6. So we have three distinct digits, 5, 6 and 2. What are the first four digits of the final product? So that is 8, 7, 9, 0. So one could have solved partially and answer the first two questions and then moved on. Uh, otherwise, like this is the complete solution of this problem. I hope you enjoyed solving this set, so please don't forget to like this video.